Welcome to the video lesson Object Oriented Programming with C++. I am Mithilakshmi, Assistant Professor of Computer Application, SFA College for Women, Sivakasi. In this video lesson, we are going to cover the objective, what is inheritance, benefits of inheritance, modes of inheritance and types of inheritance. The terms used in inheritance are a class, a uh, first a class is a collection of objects with similar attributes. It is a blueprint of template from which the items are made. Subclass, subclass or child class is a, a class in, in which inherits the another class. It is also called a derived class, extended class or a child class. Superclass or parent class. The futures of subclass are inherited from the superclass. It is also called a parent class or a base class. Reusability. The reusability term is the important aspects of the inheritance. As the name implies, the future that allow you to reuse the fields and methods of an existing class while creating a new one. What is inheritance? The most important uh, characteristics of OOPs is inheritance. Uh, in general term, adapting a new future from uh, adapting a future from newly created thing from the existing one is inheritance. In OOPs, it is defined as the process of creating a new class from uh, existing class is called inheritance. A newly created class is also known as a derived class or a child class or subclass. Reusability. Uh, the benefits of inheritance is um, reusability. It helps the code to be reused in many situations. The programmer can create as many derived class from the base class as needed. Also add a specific features to the derived class. So it saves the time and effort of the programmer as well as the estimation of the software. There are three modes of inheritance, visibility modes such as uh, public, private and protector. Uh, in public mode, if we derive a subclass from a public base class, then the public member of the base class will become public in the derived class and the protected member of the base class will become protected in the derived class. In protected mode, if we derive a subclass from a protected base class, then both the public member and protected member of the base class will become protected in derived class. In protected um, derivation, the only one derived class so from the base class can inherit the properties of the base class. In private mode, if we derive a subclass from a private base class, then both the public member and protector member of the base class will become private in derived class. It is important to under, un, understand that if the access specifier is private, public member of the base become private member of the derived class. If the access specifier is not present, then it is private by default. Uh, we can uh, tablet like this, we can um, use in a program. Uh, if you use a private uh, pri inherit a private mode then we cannot uh, get the member in the derived class that is the private um, mo access modifier cannot be inherited in private protected and public. We can inherit uh, public and protected mode alone. The modes of the inheritance defines the access level of the member of the derived class that are inherited from the base class. Uh, we, uh, types of inheritance. The inheritance are categorized as single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, multiple inheritance, hierarchical inheritance and hybrid inheritance. First one is single inheritance. The derived class can add its own properties that is data member and the function. It can extend or use the properties of base class without any modification to the base class that is it contain only one base class and only one derived class we call it as single inheritance. It can extend or use the property of the base class without any modification or to the base class. We can add to uh, special features only in the derived class. Uh, in this uh, diagram A is a base class and B is a derived class. We can assign a derived class object to access the base class members but reverse is not possible. Uh, in this example, account class account is a base class and uh, class programmer is a derived class. It access the account base class in public uh, mode. Second one is multi-level inheritance, the process uh, which a derived class inherits a triads from only one uh, triads from
second one is multi level inheritance the process in which a derived class inherits rights from another derived class is called multi level inheritance in this example a is a base class b is a immediate derived class and c is a derived class so we can derive a base class from another derived class is called multi level inheritance in this example a is a base class b is a immediate derived class and c is the derived class multiple inheritance the process in which the derived class can inherit the traits from several base class is called multiple inheritance in multiple inheritance there is only one derived class and several base classes we can declare a base class and derived classes as as follows b1 b2 b3 up to bn are base classes and only one derived class uh, in this example uh, class a is a base class class b is a, a base class and class c is a derived class it inherits both a and b base classes hierarchical inheritance in this type more than one subclass is inherited from a single base class that is it forms a tree like structure more than one derived class is created from the single base class uh, class a is a base class b c d are the derived classes uh, in this example class a is a base class class b c d are the derived classes it inherits the base class a b c in all b c d derived classes hybrid inheritance the proper combination of one or more type of inheritance happening together is known as hybrid inheritance it contain the following inheritances uh, a to b and a to c contain a single inheritance a to b comma c contain hierarchical inheritance uh, b and c to c, d form a multiple inheritance a, a to b uh, b to d a to c c to d form a multi level inheritance so it is a perfect example for hybrid inheritance the class in red are base classes green are derived classes and blue are immediate derived classes um, in hybrid inheritance we inherit the uh, example in this program class a is a base class we inherit class a in b and c and then class d is a combinations of b and c conclusion uh, it uh, the inheritance allows us to define your class in terms of another class which makes it easier to create and maintain an application uh, it provides an opportunity to reuse the code uh, for fast implementations so we can uh, if you are using inheritance in our programming uh, it reduce the cost of the application thank you